Hi, my name is Randy Aspen, Senior Project Engineer here at AY McDonald. Today I'm going to show you the new Duramac Variable Speed Booster. The Duramac boosters were designed to be easy to set up and operate. We've already loaded in all the parameters for typical boosting applications, making your installation super easy. Before we begin, all electrical work must be carried out by a licensed electrician in accordance with all national, local codes, and regulations. There are a few easy steps we're going to go through in this video. Electrical wiring, priming the pump, viewing the drive display, and adjusting the set point. The incoming power is attached to the L1, L2, L3, and ground terminals inside the disconnect box. Use a wire gauge as specified in the wiring diagrams. Let's talk about priming. With the power turned off, slowly open the valve before and after the pump. If there is some incoming pressure, open a faucet after the pump. This will force all the air out of the pump and fill it with water. Check to make sure the pump is still fully primed by opening the prime valve on the discharge side of the pump. When fully primed, you will see water streaming out like this. For suction lift applications, fill water in the pump prime port. You may have to do this several times to get all the air purged out. Drive display. Turn on the power on the disconnect box. The drive should boot up. The screen should be displaying the operation menu, as shown. If you don't see the screen, press Escape. Here you can see three monitor lines on the display. The U599, pressure set point, this is the pressure the pump will try to maintain. The U102, output frequency, this is the speed the pump is turning in hertz. And the U191, pressure feedback, this is the actual system pressure as measured by the pressure transducer. Okay, the hand button. This will run the pump continually at a constant speed. This is used for troubleshooting and startup only. Never leave the pump running in hand mode. The off button is simply that. It turns off the pump. The auto button will start the pump and it will run to maintain the set point. If no water is being used, the pump will go to sleep. Before we run into the auto mode, let's double check the motor rotation. Press the hand button on and then off. Look at the end of the motor. The motor fan should be turning in the direction of the air on the pump. For this pump, it should be turning counterclockwise. If not, switch the U and V wire inside the drive on the UVW terminals. Now we're ready to run in auto mode. The drive has been programmed for a set point of 50 PSI. Press the auto button. The pump should speed up and pressurize the system to 50 PSI. Check for leaks and close any open faucets or hoses. If no water is used, the pump should go to sleep. However, right before it sleeps, it will boost the pressure an additional 5 PSI. You will see on the display, sleep boost. This will make the sleep cycle longer and reduce the number of starts. After the sleep boost is over, you will see sleep active. It will remain in sleep mode until water is used and the pressure drops. The boosters arrive with a set point at 50 PSI. To change this, simply press enter Use the arrow over button, move to the tens column, or in this case, the five and 50, and then use the arrow up or down to change. In this case, we want to change it to 60, and then when we're done, we'll press enter. All the Duramac boosters require a pressure tank. The size of the tank should be selected by taking the maximum flow of the pump and divide it by four. For example, if the maximum flow of the pump is 100 gallons a minute, you'll need a 25 gallon pressure tank. The air pressure in the tank will need to be set 15 PSI below the set point. Make sure that the water pressure is zero when changing the air pressure in the tank. That's it. Now you know how to set up your Duramac variable speed booster. You're good to go. For more information, go to aiboosters.com or call 1-800-AYCARES.